the James Wood Space Telescope is unveiling the universe in an unprecedented way, showing us truly shocking events. This telescope has been instrumental in revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos, giving us the ability to explore the depths of the universe. Recently, it has made a truly astonishing discovery. It has detected 700 galaxies trapped in a black hole, including Stefan's Quintet, a group of five interacting galaxies. We will delve deeper into this discovery and how it impacts both us and our conception of the universe. What we are seeing here is the chemical signature of water vapor. The James Wood Space Telescope is equipped with an array of advanced scientific instruments carefully designed to observe the universe at an unprecedented range of wavelengths. With a main mirror more than 6.5 meters in diameter, this telescope exceeds in size its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. This allows the JWST to collect and focus light from distant celestial objects with unmatched precision and sensitivity. Instruments include a powerful near-infrared camera, a mid-infrared spectrograph, and a stepless spectrograph. These instruments work together to capture images, measure spectra, and study the properties of objects ranging from the oldest galaxies to the planets of our solar system. One of the wonders we can find in the universe are black holes, cosmic entities that originate from the gravitational collapse of massive stars. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it experiences a cataclysm known as a supernova. During this process, the outer layers of the star are ejected into space, leaving behind a dense core. If the mass of this core exceeds a certain critical threshold, approximately three times the mass of our sun, the gravitational forces become so intense that they cause an even more pronounced collapse, resulting in a singularity at the center. A singularity is a point of infinite density and gravity which cannot be observed directly. However, the James Wood Space Telescope has the ability to observe beyond what any other technology has yet achieved. One of the most surprising discoveries made by this telescope is the existence of 700 galaxies inside a black hole. This finding challenges the conventional understanding of how black holes work. A fundamental characteristic of a black hole is its event horizon, an invisible boundary beyond which escape becomes impossible, even for light. This boundary marks the point at which the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes so intense that not even photons, the fastest particles in the universe, can cross it. Any object or radiation that crosses this threshold is inexorably pulled toward the singularity at the heart of the black hole, a destination of no return. Most surprising of all, the extreme gravitational attraction near a black hole gives rise to a phenomenon known as time dilation. As objects approach the event horizon of a black hole, time appears to pass more slowly compared to observers farther away. This phenomenon, predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, is due to the warping of spacetime caused by the intense mass of the black hole. The event horizon is not a solid physical surface like the crust of a celestial object, but represents a mathematical boundary beyond which the structure of spacetime behaves in a way that defies our intuition. The presence of an event horizon around black holes is what makes their direct study difficult, but this does not mean that it is completely impossible. Their influence on the surrounding space can be detected through effects such as gravitational lensing, which is a distortion of light caused by the immense gravity of the black hole. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. When massive objects such as black holes warp the fabric of spacetime around them, Light from distant objects passing near these massive bodies experiences a bending in its path. This results in a visual distortion or magnification of the object's image. Gravitational lensing has become a critical tool for astronomers in studying not only black holes, but also other massive celestial objects. For black holes, this effect is particularly pronounced due to their immense gravitational pull. When a black hole acts as a gravitational lens, it can create multiple images of a single distant object or even form a complete ring of light around itself, known as an Einstein ring. These phenomena offer indirect evidence of black holes and allow researchers to infer their properties such as mass and spin, which are otherwise challenging to measure directly. The concept of gravitational lensing extends beyond black holes and includes other massive celestial bodies like galaxies and clusters of galaxies. These larger structures can also bend light, creating arcs and multiple images of objects located behind them. From our perspective on Earth, 
this property of massive objects has been used to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Dark matter, which does not emit or absorb light, cannot be observed directly. However, its presence can be inferred from the gravitational lensing effects it induces. By studying the distorted light from distant galaxies, astronomers can create detailed maps of dark matter, providing insights into the structure and evolution of the universe. One of the most famous examples of gravitational lensing is the Einstein cross, where a single quasar appears as four distinct images surrounding a foreground galaxy. This phenomenon occurs because the light from the quasar, located billions of light years away, is bent by the gravitational field of the galaxy position between the quasar and Earth. The observation of such events not only confirms the predictions of general relativity, but also provides valuable data on the distribution of mass in the lensing galaxy. These observations help scientists understand the nature of dark matter and the overall mass distribution in the universe. In addition to mapping dark matter, gravitational lensing has been used to discover exoplanets. When a star passes in front of another star from our viewpoint, the foreground star can act as a lens, magnifying the light from the background star. If a planet orbits the foreground star, it can create a temporary additional magnification known as a microlensing event. These events have been used to detect exoplanets that are otherwise too distant or faint to be observed directly. Gravitational lensing also plays a crucial role in studying the expansion of the universe. By examining the light from distant supernovae and galaxies that has been lensed by intervening massive objects, astronomers can measure the rate of expansion of the universe. This method provides an independent check on the values obtained from other techniques, such as observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the distribution of galaxies. The study of gravitational lensing is not limited to visible light. Astronomers have also observed lensing effects in other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, such as radio waves and X-rays. For instance, radio telescopes have detected gravitational lensing of distant radio sources, providing additional data on the mass and structure of lensing objects. Similarly, X-ray observations of galaxy clusters have revealed lensing effects that help to map the distribution of hot gas and dark matter within these clusters. These multi-wavelength observations are crucial for obtaining a comprehensive picture of the universe and the various phenomena that shape it. Advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are poised to enhance our understanding of gravitational lensing even further. With its powerful instruments and ability to observe in the infrared spectrum, JWST will be able to detect lensing effects that are beyond the reach of current telescopes. This will allow astronomers to study even more distant and faint objects, shedding light on the early universe and the formation of the first galaxies. JWST's contributions to gravitational lensing research are expected to provide unprecedented insights into the nature of dark matter, the distribution of mass in the universe, and the fundamental laws of physics. Gravitational lensing is a powerful tool that has revolutionized our understanding of the universe by allowing us to study the effects of massive objects on the light from distant sources. It provides valuable information on the mass, composition, and distribution of these objects, from mapping dark matter to discovering exoplanets and measuring the expansion of the universe. Gravitational lensing continues to be at the forefront of astronomical research. With the advent of new telescopes and technologies, the study of gravitational lensing promises to uncover even more secrets of the cosmos, furthering our knowledge of the universe and its underlying principles. Massive bodies such as stars or black holes are especially effective in causing significant gravitational lensing due to their immense gravitational attraction. Black holes, in particular, represent one of the most extreme examples due to their incredible mass and compact size, leading to very pronounced lensing effects. By the way, have you ever heard of white holes? The concept of a white hole arises from the mathematical solutions to Einstein's field equations in the theory of general relativity. These solutions suggest the existence of regions in spacetime where matter and energy emerge in a manner analogous to how they are attracted to black holes. The distinguishing feature of a white hole is that it only allows matter and energy to flow outward. Nothing can cross its event horizon from the outside to the inside, which distinguishes it primarily from black holes. In theoretical discussions of white holes, intriguing questions have arisen about their temporal properties. For example, it has been speculated that the flow of time inside a white hole could be reversed, 
raising scenarios that challenge our conventional understanding of causality. One of the most interesting aspects of white holes is their possible relationship to black holes. Some scientists have proposed the idea of a wormhole connecting a black hole and a white hole, suggesting that they could be different manifestations of a unified phenomenon. According to this idea, matter falling into a black hole could emerge from a white hole in a different region of space-time or even in another universe. This raises the possibility that the 700 galaxies detected in a black hole may have ended up there because of a white hole, and therefore we are only seeing part of the story. Furthermore, this idea relates to the concept of the multiverse, which postulates the existence of multiple universes, each with its own physical laws, constants, and conditions. These universes could coexist alongside our own, offering a wide variety of diverse realities. Within the framework of the multiverse, the hypothesis that black holes serve as cosmic gateways or connections between different regions of the multiverse or even with other galaxies is based on the extraordinary gravitational force exerted by black holes, which can significantly bend and warp spacetime. The exploration of black holes and their implications for our understanding of the universe continues to be a frontier of astrophysical research. One of the intriguing aspects of black holes is their role in the evolution of galaxies. It is believed that supermassive black holes reside at the centers of most, if not all, galaxies, including our own Milky Way. These supermassive black holes can have masses millions to billions of times greater than that of our Sun. The presence of a supermassive black hole can profoundly influence the surrounding galaxy. For instance, the intense gravitational forces near the black hole can disrupt nearby stars and gas clouds, causing them to orbit rapidly and release vast amounts of energy. This process, known as active galactic nuclei, AGN activity, can produce powerful jets of particles traveling at near light speeds, which can extend far beyond the galaxy itself. Studying AGN activity is crucial for understanding how galaxies evolve over cosmic time. The energy released during AGN phases can heat up surrounding gas, affect star formation rates, and even expel gas from the galaxy, regulating its growth. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is poised to contribute significantly to our understanding of AGN by observing these phenomena across different wavelengths with unprecedented detail. In addition to supermassive black holes, stellar mass black holes are another fascinating area of study. These black holes form from the remnants of massive stars that undergo supernova explosions. While significantly smaller than supermassive black holes, stellar mass black holes can still have masses several times that of our Sun. They are often found in binary systems, where they orbit a companion star, and their presence can be inferred through the gravitational influence they exert on their companion or through X-ray emissions generated from accretion disks. The study of stellar mass black holes provides insights into stellar evolution and the physics of extreme gravitational collapse. Techniques such as X-ray astronomy and gravitational wave detection have enabled astronomers to identify and study these elusive objects more effectively in recent years. The detection of gravitational waves from merging black hole binaries by instruments like LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo has opened a new era in astrophysics, allowing scientists to directly observe the violent mergers of black holes and neutron stars. Gravitational wave astronomy complements traditional electromagnetic observations, offering a unique window into the universe's most extreme events. These waves are ripples in spacetime caused by the acceleration of massive objects, such as black holes, in asymmetric motions. When black holes merge, they emit gravitational waves that propagate through the universe, carrying information about their masses, spins, and distances. The detection of gravitational waves from black hole mergers has confirmed several theoretical predictions, including the existence of binary black hole systems and the formation of black hole binaries through stellar evolution. It has also provided constraints on alternative theories of gravity and cosmology, further validating Einstein's general theory of relativity in extreme conditions. Looking ahead, future observatories such as the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, will expand our ability to detect gravitational waves from even larger distances and with greater sensitivity. LISA, a space-based observatory planned for launch in the 2030s, will detect lower-frequency gravitational waves that cannot be observed from the ground, providing a complementary view of the universe's gravitational landscape. Beyond the study of black holes themselves, 
their gravitational influence extends to the behavior of stars and even the structure of galaxies. In dense stellar environments, interactions between stars and black holes can lead to phenomena such as tidal disruption events, where a star passing too close to a black hole is torn apart by tidal forces. These events produce bright flares of radiation that can be observed across vast distances, offering insights into the properties of both the black hole and the disrupted star. The study of black holes also intersects with fundamental physics questions, including the nature of space-time and the potential connections between quantum mechanics and gravity. Black holes are unique laboratories for testing the limits of our current understanding of physics, particularly in extreme gravitational fields where classical and quantum effects converge. One such theoretical concept is Hawking radiation, proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking. According to quantum theory, pairs of virtual particles constantly pop in and out of existence near the event horizon of a black hole. If one particle falls into the black hole while the other escapes, the escaping particle appears as thermal radiation emitted by the black hole. While Hawking radiation has not yet been directly observed, its theoretical implications have sparked ongoing research into the quantum properties of black holes. The study of black holes also has implications for cosmology, the study of the origin and evolution of the universe as a whole. Understanding the formation and growth of black holes over cosmic time provides clues about the conditions in the early universe and the processes that shaped its development. Supermassive black holes, in particular, may have played a crucial role in the formation of galaxies and the regulation of star formation rates throughout cosmic history. In summary, black holes continue to captivate the imagination of scientists and the public alike. From their role in the evolution of galaxies to their potential connections with fundamental physics and cosmology, black holes represent one of the most intriguing and challenging frontiers of astrophysical research. With advancements in observational techniques and theoretical models, our understanding of these enigmatic objects is poised to deepen significantly in the coming decades, paving the way for new discoveries about the nature of space-time and the universe itself.